Welcome back to Make Tools in Schools. So sometimes the tools that we make or find to use are all around us. Here's a catapult. And he didn't even budge. So the tools around us in this particular case are paint can lids. What we do is we soak popsicle sticks overnight or longer. Put them in the groove of the paint can lid, Tupperware lid, fuller brush groove of a lid. Any of those lids. You can do smaller ones inside, usually like uh, coffee paint sticks or coffee stir sticks. When they're dry, you get these shapes. And so kids can collect paint can lids, get these shapes, and make their own catapult. This is a, this would be a whole section lesson of catapult building, including one that adjusts to different locations, and you can spin the catapult around and get different distances with the different marbles or marshmallows. So these shapes also are really useful in popsicle stick bridge building. But basically what uh, we've got is this would be the the sample, two on the front, two on the side, one up the top. You can hot glue them, Elmer's glue them, you could clamp them, and I recommend a little bit of both. So this one here is uh, regular carpenter's glue, and I've got the clamps, and what that does it is allows it to be a little more sturdy. One thing I did not do on this one is leave a little teeny lip for your fingernail or your finger to grab. The other ones, this one has got that lip. So when you, you can grab it and release. Let's see if we can wake Joey up again. Nope. So that's a uh, beginning of catapult lessons. Uh, they can uh, mark and judge and log in and graph the distance of the marbles uh, based on different catapult designs. Like this one's got two sets all the way around as opposed to this one's got a set in the front and just in, uh, singles on the side. So the tools we use aren't always the hand tools we've talked about. There are also different sets, in this case, paint sticks. I'm sorry, paint lids. Thanks.